Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the world. Prayers and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on all his house and companions. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا Dear all, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to take this opportunity to shed the light on one of the most excellent character came to this life Our beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah's Messenger was keenly interested to be a rule model for people to emulate and tolerance. He was very kind to children and merciful to women, consoling the weak and destitute. He was lenient and tolerant with people, calling on them to respect other people. He would appreciate their humanity, identity, and the privacy, striving to contain everyone with wisdom and the proper instructions. The values of tolerance and communication with people are amongst the core objectives that religions intend to, to cement. In compliance to what Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female, and made you peoples and the tribes that you may know one another. The way to get to know people and establish relations with others can only be achieved through fostering tolerance and coexistence. We need to understand that the reason for Allah behind creating such a, a, a diversity is a mere wisdom. And this is proved when exalted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, بَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your language and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those of knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent his messengers and the prophets, peace be upon them, to cherish the values of knowing one another and to encourage communication with all walks of life, thus leading to achieving everlasting happiness in this world and hereafter. The messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam formed generations fully aware of the value of humankind, regardless of their diversity and the colors, and of the importance of communication and respect. In the plea that tolerance and communication are merely for the good of people and, me, uh, and the mercy for humanity. Our celebration of Prophet Muhammad's birthday is an opportunity to deepen the values enshrined in the Quran and embodied in the biography of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The descriptions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are many, but the greatest one is the one Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has described him in the Quran saying, there has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourselves. Grievous to him is what you suffer. He is concerned over you and to the believers is kind and merciful. He also said, the messenger of humanity was interested in maintaining security and caring for peace and achieving tranquility and stability for his nation and the other nation. This endeavor was embedded in the, in the charter of Medina which has become now an example to follow in tolerance and coexistence. This nation has every right to be furiously proud of this great messenger and to follow him to the latter. 
We also have the right to celebrate his birth anniversary as it compasses the values of peace, tolerance, and coexistence. The Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching were studied with the call for creating a civilization, a civilization in every aspect of human life so that they reach the peak of morality and the both intellectual and cultural and scientific accomplishment. I would like to highlight one of his prominent characteristic, which is as the Quran states, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was a mercy for the believers, for his enemies, a mercy for women, a mercy for children, a mercy even for animals. In short, the Prophet وسلم, was sincere and true his, in his love and the compassion. He was more compassionate than any other person. He was the Prophet who was raised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator. He is truly a mercy for all mankind. We really need to be keen to emulate the character of our Prophet in every single act in our life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his guidance and accept our deeds. Thank you so much for your listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.